Excellent. Thanks so much uh, to everybody who's spoken so far. So far, I can say as, a, as an independent business person, I am very excited to be having this conversation. It's, it's something that came up over and over in the initial meetings that we had with Seed um, that I just have been you know, dying to have this conversation with other business owners, with other community organizers. And here we are. So this is just fantastic. And I'm, I'm thrilled to be here. I think one thing is important to point out to point out is that so many of uh, us small business owners and self-employed people, which I use interchangeably, uh, might be comfortable in the business world, but the world of economic development might feel a little mysterious, right? Um, and I find myself drawn to understand it better, um, largely because community wellness and sustainability just seem so vulnerable. You know, wealth disparities, climate impacts, things like that. Um, it, it feels to me that digging into the economics part, it feels necessary because it feels like that's where the keys to solutions are buried, right? Um, so I'm hoping that I can play a role within SEED and within the business community to connect with other business owners who might feel similarly. Um, business owners who are busy and juggling way too many things, unsure of what you have to contribute to policy discussions or economic development activities, but we know we want to be part of a solution. We know that we want to be part of steering the economy away from the extractive, outdated models, uh, these models that are not working, and towards a healthier, more regenerative, and community-oriented economy. So that's just a couple of words about kind of my perspective and what draws me into this. Um, I've got just a short um, uh, presentation today, which I'm going to be sharing with Eric. Hopefully, he, I, I think he's going to be pipe, piping in as we go along. Um, we're just going to share some of the preliminary results. I'm going to share my screen. Let me see here. Um, all right. Can we see my, my um, the survey slide, yeah. I hope? Yes, Perry. Excellent. Um, if you're friends with me on social media, you've seen me sharing this endlessly. Um, We've gotten 50 some responses at this point. We're gonna keep it open for a while. Um, but what we wanted to do today was just share some of the preliminary results. Um, and this, you know, we looked at this survey as kind of an initial step in reaching out to the small business community and starting this conversation and learning about their perspectives about sustainability and economic development. So let me just take a, we'll take a quick look at, these are some of the, the basic goals that we had for the survey to connect with business owners who are concerned about sustainability. I know you're out there. I'm one of them. Um, learn from you about your experiences, your perspectives, and your ideas about sustainable economic development. You know, this question of what is sustainability is, um, we hear that a lot. We feel the same way, and we're going to continue that conversation. Um, we want to be a part of pushing that conversation forward. Uh, we wanted to learn about the characteristics of the, the businesses out there who care about small uh, about sustainability. How big are you? How many owners do you have? Um, what industries are you in? Are you a main street business or are you like a tech firm? You know, what, what do you look like? Um, getting some knowledge about what policies you small business owners might have in mind um, about what is going to help uh, support a sustainable economy. And again, we just looked at this survey as kind of a stepping stone towards some continued engagement with the small business world out there in New Mexico. Um, and then to continue working with you through some working groups that we have kind of halfway in the works um, and a membership structure that you're gonna be hearing more about, especially if you sign up for our email list and stay in touch with us. Um, so um, again, if you have not taken the survey please go to seednm.org uh, slash survey, and we're gonna leave it open for probably a few more weeks. Um, so just to start, one of, one of the questions, and these are not in order, I'm, I'm presenting just a select um, sampling of responses, both quantitative and, and um, narrative answers like this um, uh, from the larger survey, and they're not in order. So if you've taken the survey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump around a little bit, but. This first question that I'm sharing kind of goes to the heart of um, what I mentioned earlier, um, getting at what is what is sustainability. People use the term a lot. It's thrown around a lot. Um, it's used in many, many different ways. But as you see here, I'm not going to read them all, um, you know, beginning to end. But uh, but, you know, this first one, a sustainable economy is one that supports the dignity of all workers, provides a living wage and minimizes impacts on our environment. If you see these answers and the other ones um, that, that, we, that we have read through, 
it's really interesting and um, and cool to see the small business community. Um, actually, uh, the people who have responded have really, um, they think about sustainability in a community oriented kind of context. It's not just being green, it's not just recycling, it's not just supporting solar industries. It's about um, caring for workers and, um, and uh, strengthening communities. And we saw that answer in many of the responses, which um, was cool. Um, so we're gonna continue refining that in our work and our conversations. Um, it was even more encouraging to see how many respondents are deeply interested in sustainability issues or, you know, and then some who are somewhat interested, zero respondents said not at all interested. Maybe there's a little self-selection there with our non-scientific survey, but, um, but very cool to see. It's, there, there's definitely an interest level out there. And, and, and Perry, I just wanted to add, I know like the numbers, the responses is low and a couple of you have offered to help us get the word out. We wanted to get it out. Um, yep. it, you know, it's obviously for those of you who are, who are methodology geeks, uh, certainly the instrument could always be improved, um, but we wanted to have consistent results. So we are gonna ask, we wanna get as much data as possible and we, we, we will share, if you stay engaged and make sure we have your information, we wanna share uh, not just the results, but kind of an analysis of where we think uh, how this will inform our work going forward. So don't let the, you know, this is a, 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 a I know a relatively small sampling, it is. but we hope, we hope, we hope to get, you know, and, and thanks to, to the city and others who've offered to actually get this out more broadly and we will do that. So, so go ahead, Perry. No, thank you. It's true. And, you know, we also, um, the, the core time that we had it out was over the holiday period and, you know, but we wanted to get it in before this meeting. And so, yes, we're going to, we're going to keep pushing it out there and we appreciate any and all shares. Um, so uh, a related question, besides interest and sustainability, the previous question, we asked, how interested are you in managing your business um, to promote sustainability? And again, um, you know, three quarters of the answers were extremely interested, even if it affects my bottom line. And I think that's just great to hear. Um, and, uh, and then a quarter of respondents said somewhat interested. There was nobody that said that they were not interested in managing their business. Um, with sustainability in mind. And uh, another related question, but a slight shift is, you know, how interested are you in becoming more engaged in defining economic development policies related to sustainability? And, you know, these are the people who are at this, this meeting today. Um, uh, a slightly smaller majority, but still a majority that are highly interested. And then 42% somewhat interested Nobody said not interested. And this refers again to kind of the, what I mentioned before, economic development can seem like a mysterious world. When you're self-employed small business owner of any size, you're always overwhelmed with too many things to do. And then policy work might seem like um, something out of your wheelhouse, but uh, we would like to create that pathway through seed yeah. nm to get yeah. people involved. I'm learning, I'm at, I'm, I'm, you know, at the beginning of my learning curve, I'm learning from, from Eric and Sandra and Angela and everybody on, on the steering circle. And um, it's quite um, enjoyable. So uh, great to see how many people are interested. Yeah, just quickly on that, Perry. I, yeah. You know, um, we, we, you know, some, I come from the policy, although I've been a small business owner and a, and a consultant, you know, I come from the policy world um, as many, many of you do, but, but it's, it, it, you know, there's often this myth that the that the quote unquote business community, well, I'll say that in, in parentheses is monolithic and it's not, yeah. we all know that, that there are, there's a great diversity in um, not just size and industry, but also in sort of uh, what they view their role in community and sustainability. So um, obviously uh, at some level, we're, we're probably preaching to the choir here, but what we're trying to do is to bring a much broader, more robust conversation around what our economic development looks like. Um, wherever you fall in the spectrum of what our mix of economic development strategies should be and policy should be and how inclusive they should be of things like uh, democracy and workplace democracy, um, what we definitely need is a much uh, broader conversation than, uh, you know, often the one or two groups that that um, that maybe speak for, uh, appear to be speaking for everybody when sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. And we all know that just like in every other field, in every other area of policy, there's a diversity of views. And um, we're trying to elevate the voice of many of you on this on this call, on this Zoom, about some other ideas uh, to in terms of how do we promote that sustainable 
a community-based, you know, democratic uh, economy and economic development. So, Absolutely. sorry, Perry, over to you. Don't be sorry. No, it's it, it, exactly. And part of, you know, this being our kind of our first outreach is learning, you know, what is on your mind about sustainability to start the conversation and then figure out more specific ways, like with working groups and stuff like that, how we can move forward. And um, that's what we'll be looking at in 2022. Um, uh, another question, what sustainability and equity related topics would you like to learn about? I know the text is really small here. Forgive me, I was trying to cram it all in. Um, but we saw you know, a, a wide range of interests in various sustainability and equity topics. Um, at the top is just learning more about the topic and, and about these terms. You know, like Even if you read a lot about um, sustainability, there's a lot of terms thrown around. And the well-being economy, the circular economy, economic democracy, the care economy. What do these all mean? How, how are they the same or different from each other? And the more that we talk about them, um, I think is great. We will start to come up with kind of common language and common meaning. So there was a lot of interest in that. Um, business planning to maximize sustainability, alternative ownership models like cooperatives. That's something that I've been digging into. That was kind of actually one of my stepping stones towards this whole enterprise. It's when I met Sandra um, at the, at the co-op catalyst. Um, that's something that a lot of people are interested in. And there's a resurgence of interest in that um, nationwide, I've, I've been learning. Um, I, I won't read through all of them. Pay equity is another interesting one. You know, how, how do you pay your workforce fairly and equitably? Um, you know, we hope that through SEED, we can be a network where business owners can come and talk about their questions about that and, and, and um, be able to build their business um, with the support of, of others working on the same issues. Um, so I'll go through just a few more. Again, this is just a sampling. We asked about efforts that businesses put towards so either supporting their workers, if they have any, as you'll see later, there are actually a lot of businesses that don't have employees or, um, or, or staff, but, or what do you do towards your community and the environment? And there's a lot of just interesting answers. And when we do put out the full results, I think this will be of interest to other business owners. I know I would love, you know, I was reading this with great interest because I try to come up with um, creative, valuable things for my employees. And it's great to hear about what other people do and other ways to contribute and give back to your community as well. Um, so things like, um, you know, compensation is an obvious one, um, different kinds of discounts, flexibility and scheduling was a big one. Um, saw that over and over, and um, and also training and mentoring, leadership development. Saw saw that a lot. Um, so that's something that again, this will be re releasing the full results um, realistically, maybe in um, six weeks, something like that. Um, and that'll be that'll be in there. Um, pressing challenges. Um, lack of capital, and and that I, I only included a few of. <laughs> those that that response because that um, came up a lot you know just lack of resources in a you know difficulty in um, being able to earn enough to 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 grow with staff that was another theme that came through um, people want to um, to hire others and it's not just hire others but hire them at a sustainable wage and it is not always easy um, so um, that was that was a theme, you know, more uh, more capital for growth, being able to um, not be doing everything. Many of us self-employed people know that feeling too well when you're doing everything, and being able to put together a team um, is is not always easy. Uh, just a few more. I'm going to kind of cruise through these last few slides fairly quickly because this moves into a little bit more of like the characteristics. What are the characteristics of the people who have responded? And, um, and the, the respondents are businesses that you know, care about sustainability, otherwise they would have taken the survey. Um, this uh, breakdown, non-employer, main street suppliers, high growth, um, is I think a really interesting um, way to segment businesses. There's a, a Harvard business uh, professor, Karen Mills, who has written about this. She's written about how to segment businesses meaningfully for policy. And that's why I really like this breakdown. It's not just you know, your size, your industry, your NAICS code. Um, these four have been written about by her and others as 
um, needing to be treated differently from a policy perspective. You know, the, the um, strategies to help high growth scaling tech, tech firms are not the same things that non-employers or main street businesses need. Um, and the answers to our response show a breakdown that really goes with kind of national um, um, trends. This is, this is one of the articles that I was referring to by Karen Mills, four types of small business, why each one matters. And um, this, this little table is also from that article. There's a lot more non-employee businesses um, than high growth. Um, so we saw that with our responses as well. Um, just a real quick, I know the text is probably too small for you to see, but uh, most of the respondents had you know, one full-time employee. Um, uh, you know, these are small employers. There was a few who had some, some large um, employee bases, but, but not most. Um, the vast majority uh, were one owner companies. And in the legal um, ownership structure was revealed to be mostly sole proprietors, which is interesting. Um, the last type, the last kind of uh, type of data that we asked about was whether anybody had sought financing. And this is interesting because access to capital comes up as a theme many times. Um, businesses report being unable to access capital. Uh, capital. And interesting, the small number of responses um, shows that actually most businesses had not actually sought financing, either for startup or for expansion. Um, again, small sample size, of course, but it's just interesting to kind of contrast with the report of um, uh, access to capital being an issue. When businesses did seek uh, financing, the uh, large majority of them, it was a loan, not equity, um, to expand, not, not at startup. And um, which is, is uh, you know, com conforms with most of our experience seeing it's hard to get a startup loan when you don't have a track record, a little easier when you're doing well and you want to expand. Um, that's pretty much it for the preview. Again, we're going to be releasing the full results after uh, a few more weeks. We'd like to get more responses. Um, if you haven't taken it, please go to cdnm.org slash survey and, um, and join our email list if you want to get that full report. And that's about all I have. Um, yeah. Then, anything well, Eric has to add. No, I just want to make sure um, that we will put those links in the chat. And um, again, uh, we uh, we understand there are, uh, you can only conclude so much from these pretty preliminary uh, results, but we're asking for your help to get, to get this out more broadly because we do want to have, I mean, I don't think that the results will vary that much because, you know, this is a decent sample size for, for the universe we're talking about. However, however, uh, we want to have a much bigger and more reliable uh, sample of, of uh, business owners in the, in the, in the state. So, so help us get the word out. Um, check out the chat for that link. Um, and uh, thanks, Perry, for, for, for carrying this out. And also, I know, I know a couple of you who took it had some suggestions on, on uh, you know, sort of how we can uh, frame the next, next round of surveys. We'll be doing another one of these down the road. So we appreciate the input.